Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another episode of Have You Heard Of, where I discuss obscure things relating to the Disney Cars franchise. Today, I'm going to be talking about the time in which there was a Cars 3 themed dance on ABC's Dancing with the Stars. But look, I know what you might be thinking right now. Ty, you're going to be discussing a dancing competition show. What do you even know about dance? Well, let me show you. Okay, got this. Alright, let's go. Three, one, two, three, let's go! Eat your heart out, Cruz and Cars 3 when she's doing like the training dance thing. No, but really, all jokes aside guys, all stupid clips of me goofing off while playing dancing games aside, um, I've actually watched Dancing with the Stars for several years since a pretty young age. So yeah, no joke, I've actually watched this show. Um, but anyway, for those of you who don't know, Dancing with the Stars is an American TV series that's run on ABC since 2005. It's still running to this day, with an impressive 29 seasons under its belt currently, and I'm sure they have more under the way. Each season sees the show's own professional dancers being paired up with stars, celebrities that can range from actors to singers to athletes, so on and so forth. Each week they have to perform a certain dance, and basically we watch as the pro teaches the star how to be a better dancer, and they improve as the season goes on. After each dance, the dancers are rated out of 10 by each judge, and then all of their scores are added up, with a perfect score for one dance being a 30 out of 30. The end of each episode then sees one of the pairs eliminated due to live fan voting, and of course, the last few couples standing at the end of the season get first, second, and third place. Each season has several different themed nights. And one of these that returns season after season due to the show being run on ABC is Disney Night, because of course, Disney owns ABC. Oftentimes, one of the dances in Disney Night is used to promote an upcoming movie. And in season 24's Disney Night on April 17th, 2017, the upcoming movie that they were promoting was none other than Cars 3. ZZ Ward actually appeared live to perform the television debut of the song Ride, which played at the end of Cars 3, leading into the credits. The couple performing the song included David Ross, a former MLB catcher, and Lindsay Arnold, the pro. The genre of the dance was a jive, and to help prepare for it, Ross was allowed to watch Cars 3 early, which he did with his family. Although, honestly, that was probably more so for just a marketing stunt. I don't know how watching Cars 3 will help you become a better dancer. But anyway, before dancing, Ross discussed how he felt the competition was getting steeper, and the physical and mental difficulties of being the oldest person in the competition. He talked about how it was difficult keeping up with his younger dancing competitors, and that he could always be the next one to be eliminated from the show. The themes that he discussed here should seem familiar to anyone who's seen Cars 3, as the main conflict in that movie focuses around Lightning McQueen having to now compete with younger, faster racers, and having difficulty keeping up with them, and knowing that he could be removed from racing at any time. Of course, this was probably done on purpose, have the dancer discuss something that's relevant to the movie that they are promoting, or the characters that they are inspired by for their dance. As for the dance itself, David and Lindsay both wore red and yellow outfits with sort of pit crew inspired designs, although there were no specific references to the Cars movies included on their outfits. ZZ Ward performed the song as they danced to it, they were backed up by some people holding checkered flags, and behind them, on a stage decorated with lightning bolts that were turning into flames, although they weren't like the specific Lightning McQueen lightning bolts, ZZ Ward performed the song live while footage of the Cars 3 characters played behind her on a screen. This footage just came from a promotional video which featured a bunch of panning shots of Lightning, Cruise, and Jackson Storm, just showing off what some of the new characters looked like. And of course, after the dance, it was time for the judges to give their thoughts. Now, this season actually contained four judges instead of three, meaning that the highest possible score would be a 40 out of 40 instead of 30 out of 30. But anyway, let's hear what the judges had to say. Do you know what you think? Lightning McQueen! Woo! After this race, it looks like you need 
an oil change, a set of new tires, and an engine retune. Um, well now I'm very uncomfortable. The judges said that David did a very good job keeping up with the dance, and that he didn't miss a step, but he was a bit flat-footed at times, and when one of the judges, Len Goodman, said this, he was actually booed by the audience. It is what it is, Dave. <laughs> Unfortunately, David and Lindsay ended up with the lowest score of the night, getting three sevens and an eight, giving them a total of 29 out of 40. Despite having the lowest scores of the night, and David's personal concerns about being eliminated, the two stayed safe and actually went on to win second place for the entire season, showing that with enough practice, you can beat the people that seem younger and better than you. Unless, of course, you're Lightning McQueen, and after realizing that you can't win, you replace yourself with somebody else who is younger. And then you both end up winning. I'm kidding, of course, but anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Have You Heard Of? of course, about the Cars 3 theme dance on Dancing with the Stars. If you have any other suggestions for future Have You Heard Of episodes, make sure to leave them in the comments. I'd love to do more episodes of this series more frequently, of course, where I discuss obscure pieces of Disney Cars-themed content. And I hope you guys learned something from this video. I know I learned something. I learned that I should never attempt to dance again. Now for the record, got three out of five on bad romance.